Hello, this is Dee from the Fish and Gardeners. Just coming out here this early morning, a little chilly here in Central Florida. I wanted to show you some of my leafy lettuce that I've been trying to grow in these stackables. There they go. Now I haven't been putting too much in them because I've been doing a lot with my um, van life, but they're doing what they need to do, and that's because it's chilly out. So they're trying to do some type of little growing in here. And in my previous videos, I put some seeds in here, and now a lot of them are just growing. Also, you know, such a beautiful, cool day. This is one of my best parts of gardening, is when you really don't have to do too much. You know, you just let the environment take over because it's not too hot and yet not too cold so far so i just finished harvesting some of my kale yesterday and some of my leafy greens and got some garlic over here taking over also you know me doing a variety so i just added a variety to my channel because we built a no-build van so we can travel around and enjoy life some more. Because we're already enjoying life, so we want to enjoy some more life. Just get in the vehicle and just go. Sometimes there's really no destination in sight. Do you ever just want to just drive away? You know, just get in your vehicle and just drive? Do you ever want to see, like, different sights? but may not have the money or the means. So that's why we went ahead and um, purchased an affordable van. Well, it's a cargo van, the Ford Transit, and we did a no-build. So we can add to the peacefulness in life. And believe it or not, we actually get up and go. We just jump in the vehicle and um, take off. We would just, we would just sometimes just throw it up in the air and say, okay, head north or south. We picked that. And that's how we wind up two weeks ago in the Florida Keys. And we didn't have to pay for expensive hotels and a bunch of food and restaurants. We pay for the gas because our no-build van allows us the opportunity to explore. So I'm going to get to see more gardens, more nurseries, and do a whole bunch of other things. A lot of attractions that I would normally not do because I have to reserve hotels and worry about food and all those expensive things. And we know on today's world of budgeting, it makes it a lot harder to do, a lot harder for most of us to reach. So that's when we decided, let's just go ahead and get a cargo van and build it into a tiny camper and that's what we achieved because when you really want something bad enough you'll achieve it so by doing a no build at any time I could transition it into if we decide to go back into handyman business or whatever case may be it's called a no build so you put some simple things in there that you would need you're gonna cook in it, but we don't cook in it. We cook outside, sleep in it. You can go to the bathroom in case of emergencies because we have a toilet in there. And that's what we did, a no-build. Now we have the opportunities to go and just enjoy life. We were enjoying life before, don't get me wrong, because I love my gardens. It's just sometimes you just want to pick up and go. But you don't feel like making a whole bunch of reservations of how you're going to um, eat, where you're going to sleep. That's no concern of ours anymore because we just get in the van and we go. And the only thing we have to pay for is the gas. Of course, we upkeep and built the van ourselves. So you just want to make sure you have, you know, good maintenance, something that you would do in your car automatically anyway. And guess what? You don't even need a van to do that. You can do that in the SUV. You can do that in the car. 
Just put some four mattresses or sleeping bags in there to make sure you're warm. You know, a little power pack. You can get yourself a cooler or a small fridge. You can set that up, especially if you have a lot of, a lot of people have different SUVs and stuff where they can slide the seat all the way back and put a sleeping bag or cushion on and enjoy themselves. Look at this right here. That miracle fruit just keeps on going, isn't it? Crazy. Look at that. So that's what I'm mainly bringing to you today is that sometimes you just want to just go without all of the plans and sometimes you just want to, you know, just like your garden, it makes you feel free. Sometimes you just want to drop all those chains wrapped around you and things that's stopping you from doing things like money, right? Because we all know if we had enough money, we do every a lot more things, right? So not necessarily are you going to always have more money. You just figure it out. Look at that miracle fruit right there that's coming. This sorrow. Yeah, so sometimes you just got to figure out, how can I do this, you know, the cheapest way possible and get out of here and still be able to enjoy sights? And that's what a no-build is all about. Okay? It's a... No build because you're not spending a lot of money on all the cabinets and all of those things that, you know, when you see road masters or road tracks or whatever other vans that cost $100,000 or $150,000. And then you can't do nothing else with the vehicle because it's already built. Or, you know, not I wouldn't necessarily say permanent shells, but you know what I mean. You're really going to have to take them out because they were built that way. That's what the van built for. So that's why we decided to build a no, uh, no build and add variety to the channel. So I'll be bringing you along with me on certain trips. So we're beginners here in this, so be patient. The videos will get a lot better. And I will still be bringing you backyard garden. I want to visit some different nurseries all around Florida. So for our first year, we'll be mostly be around Florida, and then we'll start venturing out as we get the hang of this no-build van life. But the beautiful thing I like is the freedom to get up and go whenever we want to. That's what I love, the freedom. So we don't always feel so crunched in and, you know, have to worry about anything other than the gas, the day-to-day -day gas that you use when you are out and about and we do bring all of our food i do pre-cook the food and bring it i have a very small refrigerator that goes in there it's very small and i put it in freezer bags and then i put it in our little there's a warming lunch box you plug it in it's like a little oven you plug it right on into the into your van as you're driving it warms it up and there you go so you'll save money on food you save money on lounge, lounging, and all you got to do is use the money for the gas. Now, if you're going camping, you can save money there. They have a lot of state parks in Florida that you can camp overnight. Well, not actually the state parks, but the federal parks, the waste management areas. That's what it's called. It's not waste there. But you can go ahead and park there for free. And if you do that for five days... You save money on gas, right? Because now you're not driving all over the place. So you're in one spot, camping and enjoying. So, you know, sometimes you just challenge yourself. And if you want to get away, there are ways that you can still get away that's affordable. And I try to bring everything affordable that we do into other people's lives that are interested in doing so. So just giving you a little bit more to think about that you're not always locked in as you think you are. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now, I understand people have families, and that may make it a little bit more difficult. If you have a little SUV, you can put little sleeping bags in there. Well, actually, if you got a little SUV, you can't do much with a family. But if you have a bigger SUV, maybe you could put sleeping bags out there in a tent. Now, I'm not into outdoor tenting. And that's the reason why I'm inside a van. But some people do like outdoor tenting. Okay? It's a little different things that can help you and remember now go to them thrift shops them yard sales you know flea markets that's where we get all of our stuff that's how we built our home 
backyard. So it could be done on a budget. And you can take your time. There's no rush. Okay, so just bring you that little information about giving yourself more freedom to get out here and enjoy and do other things. And I do have van life on my channel. I just mixed it in and just added the word variety. And you can go and watch how we have build our no-build van. And a no-build van means the cheaper way. All right? Not paying for cabinets and everybody to install this, this, and that. We did it ourselves. Okay. Hope you're having a blessed day and a nice Thanksgiving week. And enjoy all your festives. Have a peaceful day. Goodbye.